Batman. 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 I'm Batman. Black man. Batman. 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 Okay, that's enough. Oh, that's right. We're going to talk a little bit about Batman. The Batman. Batman. From the University of the Batman. Starring Robert Pattinson and a bunch of other folks. With a Batman shirt. Oh, my God. With a Batman hat. Wow, you got Batmaned up. I do not have Batman pants on. <laughs> I'm not wearing any. There's no pants whatsoever here. Uh, so, we're going to. Uh, this is will be a spoiler filled. Full on discussion because I think we have opposing thoughts on the Batman. Batman. So Batman, what was it rated PG thirteen? Uh yeah. Yeah. I think I so. Think I thought maybe it was R. No, maybe it was R. It's PG. There's no way it was R. It's PG thirteen. Yeah, it's PG thirteen because they want as many people seeing this. They thing said as fuck possible. once though. They did. But it was pretty early on. Ha- uh, and it made a lot of no, money. PG-13, yeah. So we're PG- going to get more sequels. PG-13. We're going to get some stuff, right? Yep. More Battinson. More Robat Bat- Battinson. Being They're doing mopey. at least two. Being mopey. Being the mopey man. All right. So what are we looking at here? Oh, boy. Nope. We're going to look at the Batman official movie Batman! site. Batman! He's the Batman. Or are we just going to stare at his face? This I time? mean, it's... His outfit was pretty cool. I mean, I would like to rename the movie. To what? Driving Miss Batman. I mean, Batman does need to go places. <laughs> and how- they have to show you every time he goes a place. Because it's like a cool shot. It's every like following single yeah. time. there is, He must ride that motorcycle. like It's not even like cool. I mean, I think at one point it is the bat cycle, but for the most part, it's not the bat. There's so much driving in this. There's a lot of driving. So much driving. So fair, many cars. There's a fair amount. It's very strange. This whole movie was very strange to me. I am. I'm gonna say from the bat, the raw bat, Battinson bat. Are we supposed to be like saying what the story's about first? No, I just want to say if I liked it, or do you want to wait on our, oh. our judgments? Then you just want to talk oh, about it. I don't care, man. Whatever you want to do. Right. Can we also possibly rename this Bat Creeper? He's not that creepy. There's distinctly, there's at least one rapey part, and there's at least another part where he's deliberately put in like uh, surveillance goggles or surveillance eyeballs onto someone just so he could see in the changing room or just so he could watch her change. He's literally scoping her out while she's changing. That is true. No, he was a super creeper in this. Yeah. Bat creeper. He was I and a young boy. So. Oh my gosh. There was a lot going on here. Yeah, he did eye him up. Have I, we changed? Have you? Have I changed your mind yet? I didn't know Tom Hanks was in this movie. Oh my gosh. So anyway, uh, this, this is the story of Batman Year 2. Not Year 1 year two where he's a little bit more seasoned and he's a little selective about his targets still pretty stupid though only likes to save asian men being assaulted by ethnically diverse groups of people beating him beating up people oh wait was no that's not the thing i was gonna say okay Uh oh it gets it gets further though that didn't bother me (laughs) oh it shouldn't bother you and uh, he, he tries to explain how he thinks he, he thinks he's not actually making an impact and he doesn't know why and he's just kind of struggling with everything. And then the murders start happening with a mysterious new villain named the Riddler, right? Yeah. They, he murders the, and spoilers folks, right? Murders the mayor. He does. Then he murders the chief of police or the commissioner of the police. Uh, Yeah. And uh, then the, the the DA. And then the DA. And during this, there's a young woman who is kidnapped who has some information because the Riddler seems to be leaving breadcrumbs to find out what exactly is going on. And long story short, I guess you slowly solve the crime as Batman goes through and puts together the puzzle, him and Commissioner Gordon, who seemed to be the other star of this movie. Right? Yeah. Who was that guy? Uh, Jeffrey Wright. Jeffrey Wright. He was pretty good. I liked him. Uh, they eventually f- uh, they figure out that most of the problems are coming from this nightclub with a super secret nightclub inside the nightclub, which also has a hangout room inside the super secret nightclub. 
Yeah, it's a little weird. Right? There's like three levels deep of nightclub, right? Because it's... What's it? The ice packing plant? Iceberg Lounge. And then it's 44 below. And then it's... Falcone, a Carmine Falcone secret layer inside. Uh, yeah. So three layers. For, just keep that in mind, folks. Three layers deep of nightclubs. <laughs> inside of a nightclub. A lot of clubs. <laughs> Let's get real clubby. I guess at some point they decide that the penguin's involved. He has something to do with this, but nobody really knows what, and he, they never really explain it. Right? Uh, He's just the right-hand man of Falcone. Uh-huh. And then... They think that uh, Catwoman's in this too, and she, she is. She thinks that people did things to her friend, so she's tracking down this friend who apparently was having an affair with the mayor, right? Yeah, mayor stole her passport. Stole her passport because she knew things, because she was a waitress at Forty Four Below. Maybe he he was just suspicious because she was Russian. I'm not sure. Maybe could have been. I don't think they ever made that connection, but sure. Could have been her infiltrating name was like Olga. Kirilenko. Kirilenko. There, we oh, yeah, there we go. She was a Bond girl. Uh huh. And then uh, Batman sort of figures everything out, but not really. He doesn't figure shit out. He figures out the riddles. We'll get, he figures out, yeah, he's really good at riddles. That's, really bad at piecing things together. Does not see the big picture until it's way too late. So you and have it's told like to him point blank. Three finale. Yeah, basically, he's like, I don't know what's going on here. I don't know. Even when he gets the final clue to the puzzle and he pulls everything up, he's still like, you have to be told exactly what's going on because he does not know. They even make a, it's like a meta joke, right? Where they say, uh, well, it's something about the world's greatest detectives right here, folks. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. what the Penguin says. Penguin says that. There's great car chase, a little nauseating, but it's pretty interesting. Absolutely no regard for human life. Who died? No one dies. You don't think like 80 people died in that car chase. Are you <laughs> kidding me? They literally exploded. Well, it was kind of like in the Dark Knight. A lot of people die, apparently, in those no, car No, the streets chases. were empty in that. In this one, the streets were filled. Okay, lots of people die. Lots no, of people doesn't, die. doesn't Batman and his Tumblr just fucking destroy a bunch of shit? Yeah, but there's nobody on the streets when they're chasing. I guess. The streets were empty because there was, a, like, a crisis going on, yeah, remember? Yeah, I mean, sure. Yeah. So, anyway, um, Batman fails to put everything together. They blow up some seawalls yeah, and know. flood everything and kill thousands of people. And Batman doesn't stop it. Why was this city below sea level? I'm not sure. Well, there are cities below sea level. Yeah, but not the way that's set up. That looked like it was literally just walls around the city I because did. it was below sea. It was like a basement. They did it because they wanted to. <laughs> it has to do with the plot. A basement city. Not the plot, but the plot because they, they wanted it to happen because they wanted it to kind of match the, the theme that the Riddler was going for. So then there's a, a, a not so spectacular fight against a bunch of Batman clones, not Batman. Uh, mini Riddlers. Mini Middlers. Yep. Little Middlers. Uh, Batman gets his behind whooped numerous times. Then he and takes then, Venom uh, juice or Bane juice. Uh, maybe. There, I was going to say, there may have been Easter eggs in this, but the Easter eggs were so obscured by darkness, it was hard to tell. This is a dark fucking movie. Oh, my gosh. Quite literally. And then basically uh, they put him, They put he puts the Riddler in jail. Well, the Riddler puts himself in jail. <laughs> And then the Batman accomplishes nothing and decides not to be boyfriend and girlfriend with Catwoman, who may or may not be bisexual. But they do kiss, and it was hot. So does that about sum up the plot of the movie? Uh, yeah. Uh, we'll go over some of the finer details. But. I think so. Yes. So Batman, good at riddles, bad at crime, not so good at... Clearly a dick to people he cares about because he just shit on Alfred multiple times. So okay, let's let's go to the characters and the actors. You were saying to me that the Christopher Nolan movies that you thought this could be better than The Dark Knight. Over as like a whole movie. And and my point was every actor in The Dark Knight is better than every actor in this movie. Uh, what do you compare? Like villain to villain? Straight like up. Batman to... Yeah. Ba well, so every uh, actor. Yeah, Paul Dano is pretty fucking awesome. And, and the He's one not... 
Paul Dano was. I th don't get me wrong. I I thought many of the performances were very very good, very good. I thought Catwoman was fantastic. I thought the Penguin was a su really good Penguin, superior to the one we got in the the uh, Gotham Burton. show. Oh, that no, one I don't know if he's. He reminds me of that one, like in a way. They're kind of like from the same club. Not the Danny DeVito same one, dunk. who's a literal That's fucking Penguin. That's the one I'm talking about. The yeah. Tim Burton one. That one's terrible. Probably the best Riddler we've ever seen, right? Better than Jim Carrey, for sure. Yeah. And this Riddler, it was it, the thing that, it just the movie reminded me of other movies so many times. I was like, oh, that's from Seven. Oh, that's from another Batman movie. Oh, that's from, you know, it just like, kept reminding me of stuff. Yeah, he just stole Seven and stole Saul a and like other put yeah. the Batman in it. And yes. then he was like, okay, that's my movie. I mean, it's, it's super well shot. But let's talk characters. So you've got, like, here's the best example of why this movie is inferior. The, and this is from The Dark Knight Rises. The scene between Alfred, Michael Caine, and Batman, who is played by... Uh, Christian Bale. Christian Bale, right? Their conversation about why Alfred has to leave because he doesn't want to watch his little boy, basically, Bruce Wayne, die or kill himself fighting these maniacs versus the scene between Alfred, who was Gollum, what's his name? Andy Serkis. Andy Serkis and Robert Pattinson. The, the, they're night and day. Like, so not as good, not as emotional. Not I didn't have any of the feels. You watch Michael Caine in that performance. Tell me you don't, it doesn't bring you to tears versus this one where you're just like, wow, Alfred's kind of a piece of crap. And... Bruce Wayne isn't a real person. He's just a nothing. Like he has, there is no Bruce Wayne in this. It is only Batman. Yes. I think that was the point. I think it is, but I think he sold mopey Bruce Wayne a little too hard. But uh, do you not agree with me? Uh, no. Okay. Yeah. That, that, those interactions are better. Sure. That one scene is better than yeah, the entire okay, movie. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Okay. You've also got, there, can you name a single scene where there's an actor where you're like, I'm going to remember that. I'm going to quote that line. I'm going to remember that scene. Like the Joker walking out of the hospital, setting off the detonator, or him burning the giant, sliding down the giant pile of money and burning all the money. You know, gasoline is cheap. Right? Uh... There's no iconic anything. The only thing I would say is iconic about this is the city itself. This could be the best depiction of Gotham we've ever seen. Yeah. Okay. Go yeah. Gotham was better. And I would, I would even go so far as to say that two thirds of this movie could be, could have been one of the best Batman's ever done. But then it makes a giant mistake and ties everything in a really bad bow. So the ending is what fucked it up. Something towards the ending. Was there any line that was delivered to you that may have pulled you out of the movie that you were like, well, what the hell's that all about? Uh, not that I can a remember. A specific line that was said to somebody else. Nope. Where you're like, geez, did she really have to drop that line? Uh, was it about white people or something? Yes, uh-huh. I didn't think that was that bad. At the time, I didn't think it... I was like, okay, that's kind of a random thing to say. But if you think about the subtext of what was going on, what was the common factor of all the bad guys? They were white. Uh-huh. And they were all corrupt and evil, right? Uh -huh. And who was the new mayor? Oh. Oh. <laughs> and think about, like, uh, even Bruce Wayne, right? Is he... He has to pay for the sins of his father. Oh, right? and he was white. Uh-huh. <laughs> so they're saying that that his heritage is what makes him not so good right oh no and then think about alfred alfred was not a good man has alfred ever been what do you why, what was wrong with alfred alfred was culpable remember he was uh he, he helped hide the secrets of the wayne family oh, and that he was yeah. also help hiding the corruption he never told he, he never told bruce wayne about the falcone maroney yeah connection. okay yeah Okay, so here you've got I've got a couple of those things. And then there's a biblical flood that needs to 
wash away the the filth and the the dirt and the corruption, right? Uh, As if they needed to have some kind of revolution to restart the system. Ah, uh, nah, yeah. Uh, it is. Guess guess who is Catholic? Catwoman? No. Nope. Oh, the Bruce Riddler. Oh, was he? Was oh, he Ave Maria. Choir, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, wasn't uh -huh. he with the choir? Yeah, he was. Yep. That's yeah. So he was a Catholic schoolboy, right? And do you know who Matt Reeves, who I respect as a director, do you know who he used to work for? The Catholic Church? No, 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 no. The Pope. No. Who did he work with? Uh, Begins with a JJ. Ends, ends with a Bronx. With a Binks. Jar Jar Binks. Oh, I was going to say Andy Serkis. No, on... JJ Abrams. He's oh. part of the JJ Abrams crew. Is he? Yeah, he directed Cloverfield, a JJ Abrams produced movie. He's one of the... Wait, Matt Reeves directed Cloverfield? Look it up. Really? Mm -hmm. And the Planet of the Apes movies, which I like. With Andy Serkis. Yeah. Uh, did he? Yeah, yeah. Andy Serkis was Caesar. I'm not saying that... I'm saying that there's a subtext to this movie that... What's J.J. Abrams have to do with this? Who's one of the wokest directors in Hollywood? Oh, is it J... Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. J.J. Abrams. Let's just look it up. Wokest director. And... What I would say is I re I really do like I think it's a good movie I think it's a really good movie but all of those things prevented it from being great and that's my only thing I highly recommend you see it uh yeah but now I now that you think about it, you're like no but I didn't really think about that while the movie was happening so I, I don't you did yeah, the that's the point though is is certain people will come out of that movie and be like oh that was an that was like the because that's that's what you're seeing online. You're seeing other reviewers and you're seeing other fans saying like one of two things. Either it was the greatest movie they ever saw or it was a really good movie that left something wrong. There was something wrong about it, but they can't put their finger on it. If you put your finger on it afterwards and you think about it, you're going to be like, mm, so I'm it was so super happy. woke is what you're saying. In a, it's it was secretly woke, secretly woke because it was the subtext. And if you think about the subtext of movies, even think about the message sacrifices any character growth. Can you tell me any character that grew whatsoever? Uh, well, wasn't the whole thing like Batman grew into like being a positive symbol instead of like vengeance? That was the whole. That was, but that yes, I, I think that is one character arc, but it's also a very shallow character arc because he only moves from one to the other. Why does he move? Why does he give up on vengeance? I I don't really know. And that's the point, is that the message was so important to the movie that they started to not think about things. So the seawall thing is there to create the biblical flood, not the other way around. And then what about Batman being basically bat moron? At, by the end of the movie, did you think he was the world's greatest detective? No, he was dumb as shit. World's bumbling ass detective. And when he falls off that that uh the giant screen in the Gotham where he gets square. electrocuted but doesn't actually get electrocuted for that made no sense because there's a giant box hanging from the wall that's shooting sparks that he cuts one cable and it's not electrocuting people anymore what about the fact that you know 110 pounds selena kyle pulls up batman in full armor so you're talking about a 180 oh, pound yeah. man who's wearing another 35 pounds of armor and she just pulls him up and how many times does he black out in this movie? Uh, does like he three black times? out? Oh, uh, yeah, several times. What about the fact when he puts his face right up to a dude with a bomb and blows himself up? Oh, yeah, that one didn't really make any sense. Like, he should have been exploded from there. That was dumb. His yeah. face would have gotten blown. He was literally face to face with that guy when it blew up. <laughs> yeah, I know. So what I'm saying is that the message was... And the subtext was more important than actually executing on the movie. Now, don't get uh, the visuals. Uh, it's awesome. It's definitely worth seeing. You're going to enjoy it. It's got a great mood. It's too long. It's about 25 minutes. Too much driving. It's also got not enough Riddler. Not an, yeah. None of the other actors got enough. Sh I would have loved to see more Penguin, more Riddler, maybe more it, it was also the exact same plot as seven which is irritating to me like if i wanted to watch seven i would just watch seven it basically was like it was just seven he with gives batman himself up intentionally 
as part of his, he knew he was going to be arrested. He even said it to his followers in his message before then. He said, I'm going to be taken. Well, he, and Batman is so dumb that he literally gets Falcone, uh, uh, Carmine Falcone. What the hell is that guy? Carmine Falcone. Yeah, gets him murder, who shouldn't have died. But that was that was a poor casting choice, by the way. Yeah, that was the one casting choice. Was I like him? That's all I saw. I was like, that's just John Totoro. Yeah, he could he couldn't get past that. That that was a little disturbing. Yeah. Did you like the Batmobile? Oh, I thought that was awesome. I don't know what kind of car. Was it a Charger? No, Challenger? It, it's supposed to be something you would think he built himself instead of paying for it. Yeah. I It put a smile on my face. When the car started rumbling, I don't know if he was in it. Here's the, <laughs> This is the reason why Batman is the reason why the East Coast that, uh, what do they call those, high-speed pursuits are outlawed. He literally is dryly. Why did he have to chase the penguin? He could have gotten the penguin at some other time. Was it really necessary to chase him down? What if he died in a car accident there? You wouldn't get any information from oh, him. Oh, where he just launched him into like spinning his car 14 Why times? Why would he do that? It was Why a really would he cool visual. Kill all of those people. For that shot of him upside down. Up, I, it was cool. Don't get me wrong. It was an exhilarating car chase. And that's my, my other point, is that if you think too hard about this movie, it doesn't make any sense. Batman getting shot in the face with freaking machine guns in the is chest. not part of Bat... That it, there was a part where the guy goes like... And like shoots like... Would have hit him right in the face. <laughs> he doesn't have any face armor. He has no face armor. Yeah, he definitely took a lot of bullets. I'm like, why? Why? Are he's not indestructible. Batman's whole thing is he's like a ninja. He's not taking hits. Mm -hmm. This Batman was like bat buffoon. I just didn't know why they didn't shoot him in the face. They, sh they were several times when I thought they did and he did. Like that whole, uh, and a lot of it, that's again, it's the visuals. Now, what, what do I think about this in the long run? I think this is a good foundation for maybe better sequels in the future. And it's not a bad movie, folks. Do not get me mistaken. They're going to bring a different weird Joker who's ugly. I don't get what that was about. I also thought there was like a reference to Two-Face and the gang, but I, I don't really no, understand. No, I, I knew it was the Joker, but I if you were to tell me that I didn't know what villain that was, I would have guessed Two-Face, not the Joker. Okay, fair enough. I, I meant actually in, in the very beginning, the gang they were fighting, the kid has like his oh, face. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. But you're right. I could, I could have, if I didn't know he was laughing, I would like if he didn't laugh, I might have thought it was Two Face, because his skin looks all messed up. Like I don't know what's going on there. Yeah. Like if it's makeup, like they didn't do a very good job with all of that. I just, I don't know. Although there was another scene where he was in it, so that that scene would would have made more sense. They cut out a scene earlier in the they, movie. Yeah, there were like fake and supposedly, what's that guy's name? Barry Keogh or something? Uh, yeah. They had fake scenes filmed with each he other. He was in The Eternals. Oh, he's that druid guy. He's yep. kind of annoying. I don't know how I feel about that. But I do think that there is good possibilities for the future. I'd be interested in the Penguin movie I, or Penguin show, show or whatever. Colin Farrell was great. I don't know why they hired Colin Farrell for this. They could have just hired some older fat dude. Like, why? Why put him in makeup for six hours? I mean, Colin Farrell's awesome. He's not awesome. He's a decent actor. He's really good in Minority Report. Can you tell me what else is he good in? Uh, he's good as the Penguin. Uh-huh. And nothing else? He's uh, Phone Booth was really good. Oh, was it? <laughs> Bull, like, he was terrible as Bullseye. I liked One it. One of the worst villains Bullseye ever. was pretty bad. Really bad. Paul Dano, awesome. Paul Dano was great. He was great. I still don't even get like the the final riddle didn't like make it like, like he had he's like, oh, if, he, if if Batman hadn't randomly stumbled into that cop and the cop didn't tell him that that was a tool for pulling up carpet, Batman would have figured out nothing. <laughs> he never did. Yeah. The whole scene. And, and I also thought, like, why have an interrogation scene with the Riddler? Where he's not actually doing anything. He's behind when glass. When it's so much inferior to the interrogation. Why set yourself up for failure, right? You're going to have an interrogation scene, and everyone's going to compare it to the Joker one. And the Joker one is so much better. Batman is literally whining about, like, I think it's all over for Bruce Wayne. I think I'm done. I don't think I can be Batman anymore. Right? He literally says that to Commissioner Gordon. 
And then he goes in, and the entire time he think you're supposed to think as the audience that the Riddler knows that he's Bruce Wayne. And how many times he forgot his voice half the time too. He's like, "Oh, I'm Batman," and then he's like, "But I'm really just Bruce Wayne." How any normal? He literally met people as the same two characters back and <laughs> forth, and they had no idea that this guy who doesn't change his voice at all. Like at least it sounded like he was doing a lighter version of Christian Bale. Yes, but at least Christian Bale was like, and then you have Ben Affleck actually use a voice modulator, and this guy's just like, I'm Batman. Hey, no, I thought, but I'm also Bruce Wayne. It sounded pretty. It wasn't bad. He was a good Batman. Don't get me wrong. He was just not a Bruce Wayne. He was not. Didn't even try. I think that that was the point. He didn't. He shied away from Bruce Wayne. If he would have shied, why show up in public? I don't know. Speaking just like Batman, and you literally are standing next to Commissioner Gordon talking to him. You think the man you've been spending like ten hours a day with. I did like the idea that it was. It took place over seven days. Oh my gosh! Did it take place over seven days? I think I it didn't, did. I didn't know that. It was October thirty first to November seventh. Oh shit! So seven. I mean, don't you? You can make an. Don't bite seven so hard. Like it would have been fine if they had made changes. Oh, I guess my last note that I had. You know what would have made this movie substantially better? What's that? If the Riddler would have framed Bruce Wayne. Uh, Just oh. think about it for a second. And if everything tied back to the crazy serial killer was Bruce Wayne because they murdered his father. Okay. Then it would have been, would have made sense because he would have been trying to drive Bruce Wayne out into the light because he's a recluse, right? They literally act like they've never seen the man in like five years or whatever, you know? That would be if he knew that Bruce Wayne was Batman. No, all he would—he could have just framed him as Bruce Wayne. Instead of killing him, he should have just framed him. Oh uh, yeah, I guess so. They also didn't connect a lot of dots. I thought Paul Dana, the Riddler, was the journalist's son, but they never went back to that. So they just—that's what it kind of seems like, yeah. But they just left it on the table in a three-hour movie. You could have explained that a little bit to give him some kind of motivation, because all he kept saying was, "I'm an orphan. I'm an orphan." Well, why are you an orphan? Why do you blame these people for making you an orphan? And then everything is about some stupid trust fund? Come on. What do they call that? The, the um, Shit. The Regency? No. Something with the... It's all about the Benjamins. Recluse. Fuck. Yeah, something. What was that? It was something with an R. Yeah, it was. Remix. Remedy? Mm. No. Recuse. Rescue plan? I don't know. Rescue Rangers? It was something. It was the rape Reclaim? fund. Reclaim? It was the rape Reclaim? Yeah. Reclamation Reclamation. Fund? I yeah. think it was reclamation is a lie. And aesthetically, I thought it looked really cool. Because they, oh, they also took, um, it's not, uh, Zodiac is the other movie they kind yep. of took from. Also Halloween. You think? That he said it. Oh, he said he took from Halloween. Yeah. The new one or the old one? The original. Okay. Yeah. I don't see it, but where? Where did he, where did he get that from? Uh, with Just the, how dark it is? No, how the movie started off in the killer's point of view, following around. That's how Michael was putting on the mask. Oh, he followed okay. around, killed his so. sister and all sure. that stuff. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. So I think we talked enough about this movie. What do you think? Does this movie leave an unsettling Batman. idea in your head? Do you feel uncomfortable after watching it? Did you love it? Did you think it's the best thing ever? Do you think I have no clue what I'm talking about? Because he loved it. He still loves it. He's still going to make love to it. I, I, I want to see it again. It's going to happen. This is a discussion between us and you out there in the audience world. We would really love to hear from you down in the comments below. You can also check out our full-length audio podcast, which can be downloaded anywhere for free. Stitcher, Spotify, iTunes, all those great places. Catch it. It's fun. Full-length. You get to spend tons of time with us. It's amazing. Yeah, it is. So much time. Unless you hate us, then it's not. But then it's hilarious because you get to hear us do hilarious things. But if you'd really like to help us, you could share this video or like and subscribe. Because if you don't, there is a strong possibility Noob Noob will do this. I will buy a Batman costume, but without nipples, and just haunt you for an entire week. Seven straight days of just lurking around your house. Just follow you. Nippleless. What about Bat Crotch? No, the bat, nah, I need to keep the girls you know, secure. 
That's my testicles, by the way. Um, but, you know, your parents are going to see my nipples. Maybe your dog. Maybe I have peanut oh, butter. Oh, you mean the thing's just going to have, like, your nipples showing? Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. Not like the bat nipple costume. No, no, no. Like, cut out nipples. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. If you want that in your house for seven days, then by all means, don't subscribe. But if you... Wait, I don't know. Just subscribe. Just like and subscribe. That'd be nice. Anyway, uh, we're on to the next one. Bye, man. <laughs>